Hello students, welcome to information technology class. My name is Susan Jumbo. Today, we'll be looking at the theme, basic computer operations and concepts. And our topic is data processing. Now, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to define data processing. You should be able to state the stages of data processing. And you should know the importance of a computer as a data processing tool. Now, what is data? Data can be defined as the collection of facts. The collection of facts that have not been processed. By facts, we mean letters, numbers, and so on. Now, these facts, they have to be processed to give a useful meaning. For example... This is a collection of the number of cars, the road facts. This is also the collection of the length of shoes. It's also called data. It's a raw fact. Now, what is data processing? Data processing can be defined as the process of producing meaningful information. That's the process at which you get data and then you give out meaningful information. It's called data processing. And we use the IPO system to achieve this. The IPO system is the input output process. We use this system or model to achieve data processing. Now, there are different stages at which we process data. The first stage is the data gathering, the second stage is data collation, the third, impute stage, the fourth, processing stage, the fifth, storage stage, and lastly, the sixth stage is the output stage. Now, the first stage, data gathering, is self-explanatory in the sense that you collect data, you gather data, and this is done by asking questions, reading articles, you can read articles and books, you listen to radio, you watch TV, you also gather information by watching TV. You also get information by observing. You're very observant, and so on. Now, after gathering your data, what's the next thing to do? The next stage is the data collation. By collation, we mean to collect and sort the data. You can sort data in diverse ways. You get the ones that you need, and you discard the data or the ones that you don't need. That is what is done in this stage. And then it makes processing easy. Data collation makes processing easy. After collating your data, after sorting the data, the next stage is to impute the data. That's we've come to the impute stage. Now at this stage, the computer accepts this data that you've gathered and you've sorted using the impute devices. We all know what impute devices are. They are devices that are used to enter data into the computer, and the keyboard is one of them. You have the keyboard and the mouse. They are impute devices, and we also have other impute devices like the scanners and so on. So at this stage, you use these devices to enter data. Then we go to the main stage, which is the processing stage. Now here, data is converted. That is, it is processed into information. Thus, you have data. It's processed to information. Now, the central processing unit, the CPU, plays a major role in this stage. The data that you've gathered the data that you've sorted out, you've collated, you've imputed, you put the data into the system. At this stage, it is being processed with the help of the CPU. Okay, now the storage stage. After data is being processed, it is saved, it is stored somewhere for future activities. Now, there are different devices where you store your data. For example, we have the flash drive. You can store data in your flash drive. You can also store data in your hard drive. So at this stage, the processed data 
which is information, is stored up for future use. Now the last stage is the output stage. After you've put in data, you see or you view data. In this stage, the data that was processed, they are sent out for usage. And there are different devices that you can use to view your data. The monitor is one of them. And the printer is also another device that you use to view your data. The computer is an important tool for data processing. Now we'll look at why the computer is an important tool for data processing. The first reason is that it has increased accuracy. The computer is very accurate. That's why it is important for processing data. The second reason is that it's an efficient storage facility. The computer can store data. We give the devices that can be used to store this data. We have the flash drive, the hard drive, and so on. The third importance is that the computer is a fast access to information. Whatever information we need, we can use our computer to get them easily. Lastly, the computer handles repetitive tasks. This is where we come to programming. When you go to higher classes, you learn more about programming. That's for those that want to study computer science as a course in the university. Now let's summarize all we've learned today. We said data processing is a term used to describe the process of producing meaningful information. We also looked at the stages of data processing. The first stage, which is data gathering. The second stage, which is data collation. The third stage, the impute stage. The processing stage. The storage stage. And the output stage. And we also looked at the reasons why the computer is an important tool for data processing. Such reasons are the computer is fast, it's accurate, and it has efficient storage facilities. Now before we go, let's take some questions to know if you've really understood the class. Question 1. Dash is not a stage in data processing. A, data gathering, B, data collation, C, data filtering. C, data filtering is not a stage in data processing. Data gathering is a stage, data collation, impute stage, and so on. Question two, Dash is not an example of an output device. At the output stage, we looked at different devices that we can use to view our data. A, monitor. B, keyboard. C, printer. B, keyboard is not an example of an output device. The monitor is an example. The printer is also an example. But the keyboard is an input device. I hope you enjoyed the class and you know you can define data processing, you know the stages of data processing and you know why the computer is an important tool for data processing. I'll see you in the next class. Bye.